You're on. All right, everybody. We're doing a demonstration on our Nyko press system. Um, one, I have a lot of questions about how much our turnbuckles can hold and how much the wires can actually hold. So we're going to get some actual numbers here today with the scale, and, and I'll show you how to do the crimping and stuff like that. So um, I'll have my camera guy come in so that you can see what I'm doing. Here's a few of the items that we offer. These are our three sizes of turnbuckles. Um, we have a small one, a medium one, and a large one. Uh, this one's roughly two inches. Uh, this one's an inch and a half, and the small one is about three quarter. This would be like a good quarter scale. Um, this would be quarter the third scale. This would be third to half scale, whatever you, depending on the size turnbuckle that you needed. Then we also have thimbles here. Um, they work great for going through the metal tabs that are already included in the kits. Um, what that does is it helps prevent the cable from chafing on the, the sharp edges of the metal. Um, here's a few of our tangs that we use while we for our, our wire hookups in our kits. Um, I have a couple of things set up. I'm going to show you how to safety wire. Uh, we'll safety wire this one. Um, I'm going to show you how to do some crimping off of these. And then we're going to do some load tests um, to test out and see what we have. Um, I'll talk a little bit about if you don't have our Nyko press system yet, this is a, a third scale set and this is a quarter scale set. Um, it comes with the cable, the sleeves, and the, the tool that you need, and then it also has a little gauge back here to help you get your loops that you need to get and some instructions. Um, the nice thing about the, the pliers is the pliers are set up, you can do both sizes that we offer with the same pliers. So once you buy one set, you'd only need to buy cable and, and then extra sleeves for if you needed more. <clears throat> so I'll start by showing you how to put the wire on the thimbles. I already have those on. The thimbles fit through an eighth inch hole. Um, if you notice a lot of our ends, they don't have an eighth inch hole. You just drill it out to the eighth inch hole. Um, this is the smallest one that we ever use. I don't even know if we use that for a cable hookup, but this would be the smallest one. So I hooked that one up and we'll test that with the, with the weight also and it'll show that you don't have to worry about drilling them out, um, that there's still plenty of meat there. So we'll start with the small one. This is our, our 132nd cable. This is what we would use on our quarter scale stuff. Um, I also like to use this a lot for my pull pole and I use the Nyko press sleeves along with that. So what you do is you got to put the cable through the sleeve first. Maybe. Let me cut and get a good end on there. Yeah, if you're ever having a problem getting it through the sleeve, if you just cut a little bit off, it makes it go. Once it starts fraying, it's, it's tough. You run it through the thimble, and then you put it back through the sleeve. If you notice, the sleeve's oblong. <clears throat> and then what you want to do is you want to get your, your sleeve tight. into the thimble and I like to get started and then I'll pull it in with the tool and one crimp is all you need you don't have to crimp the whole thing just one nice crimp it's plenty strong and then you can trim off the extra if you have any on the end here so that's the the quarter scale stuff that we use the uh, 132 now I'll do it with uh, the larger. This would be what we supply with our third scale kits. And this is a 360 force cable here. And you can use the same thimble for both of them. You don't have to buy multiple sizes of thimbles. Um, but the sleeves are different. Um, <clears throat> so you do this the same way. And once again, let me cut this end off. Thread it through the one. Then put it through your hole and your thimble.
and you basically want to do the same thing. Now with the the 364, so you use the middle middle hole on our tool. Then you pull it in nice and tight, and one crimp is all that you need for that too. Uh, it works as when you crimp it, it actually forces the the metal into the weave of the cable, and that's what gives it all of its strength. Uh, versus just a brass tube that you would crimp over and you have to do the loop and all that. You don't need to do that with our system. <clears throat> Let me just put an end on the other one so that we have something to pull with. And I'll put a thimble on this one also. After I'm all done here, I'll ask if anybody has any questions, and we'll do a quick uh, Q&A session at the end. All right, so both of those are done. Now I'll move on to showing you. <clears throat> I got these out here. That's about how much thread you have on the large thimble, and you can see they progressively get smaller. Um, but there's still plenty of thread to, to for adjusting on your cables. Um, once you get your cable set in your wing, you're going to want to take your turnbuckle and you're going to want to safety wire it. Um, just the soft copper wire would be fine. <clears throat> I'm using this. I just had this laying around the shop. Um, string it through the middle here. One end goes through there. And then you just do a couple of wraps. Then you want to make sure that you spin the opposite way on the other one. So now that you have that done, what that does is it makes it so that your your thimble can't unscrew anymore. It just it's just at that point. I got these ones are done the same way. Um, I just pre-did them already. Now we'll get started doing our uh, weights. Um, we'll move on over to our scale over here. You can see I got this set up. I got the weight here. You can see it's at zero. Um, right there, it's zeroed out right now. Oop, I'm gonna drop it. <laughs> All right, now we'll pick it up and put it on the scale. All right, it's 114 pounds that you see right there, and when we pick it up, you'll see it go down to zero. That's showing that we're actually using picking all the weight up. We're not going to lift it up super high, just for safety reasons, we don't want to break our scale if something does happen. Um, can you grab the... All right, so this is our large turnbuckle. Um, and this is all 360 uh, force wire. This would be what the third scale would use. And as you can see, it's just the nickel press, one nickel press, one nickel press going to the turnbuckle. The same that you would have if this would be your wing and this would be your wing. It's set up the same way. Now we'll lift it up and you'll see the number go down to zero. It's completely off the scale. 
we'll switch to our medium one and we'll do the same weight with the medium one. A lot of people were worried about this one and this is why I was doing the test. They were afraid because this is actually an aluminum turnbuckle um, to help save on weight, but it's still plenty strong for your airplane. You can see that picks it up, no problem. <clears throat> now we'll switch to our smallest one. This is for our quarter scale. And now remember, this is 113 pounds that we're picking up. You can see it's completely off, went to zero. That's 113 pounds. Uh, leave that on for a second. And just to prove it, we'll switch this over. This is our small quarter scale cable here. So this is the complete quarter scale setup that we'll do. And it picks it up, no problems. At 100 pounds, our largest third scale airplane is the Albatross. And if that comes in at 50 pounds, which would be a heavy airplane, um, you got eight of the, the turnbuckles on that airplane, four on each side. That would be 800 pounds that you're holding. At 50 pounds, that would equate to uh, like a 16 G maneuver that you could do with the albatross and the cable still won't give way. There's no way that your airplane, the balsa wood that it's built out of is going to hold up to 16 G's on a World War I plane. So that's going to be plenty strong for anything you do. And that's on our quarter scale. So the big uh, brass ones that we have, the large ones, these are tested out to 360 pounds without breaking. Um, the wire withstands up to like 600 pounds. So it's plenty strong for everything that you're going to need to do. Um, now, I don't know if anybody's asked any questions at all. Does anybody have any questions about this? Um, we'll move back over. If you have a question, just type it in and my cameraman will answer it. Um, I'm going to show the strength of our tangs that we use now with the smallest ones. And we'll do that real quick over by the scale. So we'll start out with the larger diameter wire. This is the uh, 364s cable. And this is on our, um, this is actually a tang off of our Newport 17 that we use. Um, we'll pick that up. And you can see that the, the tang holds it just fine. Um, we'll go back down to our quarter scale one. Do the same thing you see that it picks it up holds it just fine and if you look and notice there's when you drill this one out there's going to be barely anything there but it's on a quarter scale airplane it's picking up 113 pounds there's no way you're going to go through that now with any cable you have maintenance it's going to wear as it's vibrating and chafing. The thimbles help alleviate that, but you still have to make sure you maintain all of your stuff in, in good working order. Um, I don't know if there's any questions. I guess there's no questions, so we'll end the video. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment on here. You can always email us at uh, balsausa at balsausa.com. Um, we'll get your, your questions answered if you have any other questions oh are the thimbles the same for both size wires we had, we had a question if the thimbles were the same for both size wires the thimbles are the same um, it's the same thimble for the the 30 or the 132nd as it is for a 364 that way you only have to have one size in your shop no matter what size plane you're working on um, was there any other questions at all all right and like I said if you have any more questions feel free to contact us um, we're always a phone call or an email away. So until next time, I see you guys. Enjoy building and have fun flying.